I got sober in 1990 and I sold everything at Sotheby's in 1989 that I had, bar four paintings. And I must have had a premonition that my life would change because um, six months after I sold it, I got sober. But I never really noticed photography as an art form. Someone came down to Cahor, where a friend of mine lived, and it was David Faye from Faye Klein in Los Angeles. And he came down with the pens, horse, and Brits. They were black and white. They were mostly fashion photographs. But I was interested immediately. I bought about 12 photographs on the spot. And I always say to David Faye when I see him in Los Angeles, it's all your fault. Um, <laughs> because if he hadn't have been there, I would probably have never noticed photography or, or come into it at a later date. But once I started collecting it, I became avaricious about it. And I moved to Atlanta, I've got a place here, and I like to have it on the walls. And so it subsequently became an 18,000 foot square apartment. And uh, I didn't need the space, I just wanted the space to put the photographs on the wall. And that's how it became kind of the love of my life, in art terms anyway. I was attracted to the migrant mother because again, it's an iconic image, but that whole era of American history, um, which was so um, devastating to so many people. Having read John Steinbeck when I was a kid, and the tale that they tell is of great sorrow and anxiety. She kind of changes expression every time I look at her. And you look at that child and you see trouble, a troubled face but her life has been irreparably changed by what is happening to her at that moment. And the fact that Dorothea Lange wrote that on the back of the photograph says it all, really. I mean, she must have been quite traumatized by taking pictures of people in this condition and the despair they were living. I'm a, a great lover of small photographs, tiny photographs. Of course, the underwater swimmer being. That's the original contact sheet from Andrzej Kotej um, from Poland. That's a photograph of his brother swimming. Um, it was taken in 1917, and it's by far the earliest photograph that's in the exhibition by three years. I have a modern print of it. I bought the modern print first because I loved it so much. But then I, when I had the chance to buy the contact sheet and the original, original photo, I just jumped at the chance um, because for me, it's such an important image. Great photographs I bought was Edward Weston, which is in the show of White Door. The first Western I ever had, but I just loved the mystery of the white door. What's behind it? What's the story of this? And that's what photographs do. They're like reading a book. You, they, you, your imagination comes alive, and you wonder what was going on when the photograph was taken. There you have six Elton John portraits by Irving Penn. Basically, I was sitting down and talking to him about photographs and the photography in his life. And as I was talking, the camera was moving very, very slowly. And that's how you got the distorted effect. I'm not your normal type of person, and it kind of gets the eccentricity of my life. I kind of look like an insane Alan Bennett in some of them. But I love these photographs so much, and I had no idea how it's going to turn out. And then when I saw the end result, I was absolutely ecstatic. I love living with my collection. I love surrounding myself with all these beautiful images. It's my favorite art form in the whole world. I sleep in my bed above Noir et Blanc by um, Man Ray and I think that's pretty cool. And then to be able to share it with other people is the most important, because that's why I'm doing this exhibition at the Tate. I think it's a huge honor, but I'm dying for what the general public, who might not know anything about photography, like I was in 1990, completely ignorant, to come and say, oh, I really like that, but know nothing about Andre Cortez, never heard of him before. But seeing these wonderful images on the wall that people took a long time ago that still have relevance, and still scream out at you, this is a beautiful piece of art.